distinguished guests, if you are able, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Kittle, Governor General of New Zealand. Please be seated. Enga mana, enga reo, enga iwi o ngā hau e whā, tēnei aku mihi mahana ki o koutou, nau mai, haramai ki te whare nei, te whare o te kāwana tianarei, kei tāmaki makaurau. Kia ora mai tātou katoa. Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to today's investiture ceremony here at Government House in Auckland. I'd like to specifically acknowledge the Honourable Chris Pink, Minister of the Crown, Rear Admiral Jim Gilmore, Commander of Joint Forces, Mr Joe Harawira, our Komatua, and Ms Pauline Hopa, our Kuiya. Tēnā katoa. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties I perform on behalf of His Majesty King Charles, the King of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being here to Aotearoa through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for your contributions. After each recipient is on it, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Kevin Trenberth of Auckland for services to geophysics. Well, Dr. Kevin Trenberth is a scientist who is a world-renowned man in the field of climate variability and climate change. He holds several fellowships and is a distinguished scholar at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Colorado and an honorary affiliate faculty member at the University of Auckland. He was a lead author of three scientific assessment of climate change reports from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, sharing in the panel's 2007 Nobel Peace Prize, as well as receiving many awards for his own work. He has served on several groups within the World Climate Research Programme. He chaired the Global Energy and Water Exchanges Scientific Steering Group. Dr. Trembeth has published more than 590 scientific articles or papers, including 70 books or book chapters, and is highly cited. Well, Dr. Kevin Trembeth, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Letty Brown of Auckland, for services to Māori and early childhood education. Well, Letty Brown, Tuanua Apa Nui Ngāti Pro, has worked in her community in preschool education, marae governance, supporting at-risk youth and the Kuangareo movement. In 2000, she set up a licensed Te Reo Māori Early Childhood Education Centre, Te Punareo o Manamanui, under the Ministry of Education as one of the first total immersion Te Reo Māori ECE centres in New Zealand. Through the centre, she has been involved in the growth and development of Punareo, and in 2022, Ngā Punareo o Aotearoa, a national collective of the 59 Punareo centres, was established. In the 1960s, she was a founding member of the Māori Women's Welfare League Te Atatū branch, and Mrs Brown helped establish the West Auckland Kapahaka Group, Manutaki, and the Hawaii Waititi Marae. Mrs Letty Brown, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms Rosalind Heaney of Auckland for services to women and the union movement. Rosalind Heaney is a founding member of the Working Women's Resource Centre, WWRC. As a union leader, she negotiated a collective agreement for retail workers of DECA and supported women to become union members. She was involved in several equal pay and pay equity initiatives, including the Care and Support Worker Settlement in 2017 and the amendment to the Equal Pay Act in 2018. She campaigned for paid parental leave through petitioning Parliament, meetings and letters to Ministers. Ms Heaney is Board Secretary of the Hunger Project, which runs programmes across Africa, South Asia and Latin America to tackle hunger at the source. Ms. Rosalind Heaney, please come forward. Mrs Joe Knight of Auckland for services to the environment. 
Well, Joe Knight was instrumental in the establishment of the Pest Free Kaibatiki Restoration Society, PFK, serving as chair and board member. She has researched methodology for environmental regeneration and implemented an evidence-based program, HALO, an invisible fence around parks and reserves, enabling communities to bait and trap pests. HALOs have encouraged people of all ages to participate, create safe environments for birds and plant natives. Well, under her leadership, PFK has planted more than 32,000 trees, controlled more than 4,000 pest weed locations and distributed 2,000 pest animal devices. Mrs Knight was CEO of Zero Waste New Zealand Trust Limited and is coordinator of the Odin Headfield Reserve. Mrs Jo Knight, please come forward. Mix H. McArdle of Auckland for services to the Rainbow community. H. McArdle was an executive board member and educated director of Rainbow Youth. They have designed programs for Higher Ground, a drug rehabilitation service. With Rainbow Youth, they co-led the nationwide Inside Out project to support schools to talk about gender and sexuality and address bullying of Rainbow Youth. They have been a member, executive board member, and recent co-chair of Outline Aotearoa, a national rainbow mental health organisation. They were Outline's governance lead for Spark's Beyond Binary Code, helping co-design companies' collection of gender data practices to be more appropriate and respectful. Mix McArdle supported the Intersex Trust of Aotearoa New Zealand with their central government and United Nations engagement. Mix H. McArdle, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a distinguished service decoration, Group Captain Glenn Galthorpe for services to the New Zealand Defence Force. Well, Group Captain Glenn Galthorpe has served 34 years in the New Zealand Defence Force in a range of command and leadership positions and from October 2020 to May 2022 commanded the New Zealand Defence Force Joint Task Force as part of New Zealand's All of Government Response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, Group Captain Galthorpe oversaw NZDF's contribution to all MIQs and commanded the Auckland Cordon from August 2021 to November 2021. He coordinated with other government agencies as part of the government's COVID-19 border response, building and maintaining effective relationships with agencies, and through understanding the policies and risks, he enabled the Joint Task Force to deliver the collective aim of keeping COVID-19 out of New Zealand communities. He led the Joint Task Force through the evolving risks of the Delta outbreak in August 2021 
in the Omicron outbreak in early 2022. He led the Joint Task Force through frequent policy and operational changes, often with little notice, while distance from headquarters staff due to lockdown requirements. He undertook difficult decisions, impacting his Joint Task Force staff and the majority of New Zealand citizens, but which contributed significantly to New Zealand being able to reduce restrictions and open borders. Group Captain Garthorpe demonstrated committed service over an extended period, assuring advice at the strategic and operational levels. Group Captain Glenn Garthorpe, please come forward. Lieutenant Commander Mark Takani for services to the New Zealand Defence Force. Well, Lieutenant Commander Mark Takani, Ngāti Pirau, Rongo Whakata, Te Aitanga Māhaki e Te Wakatohia, was Maritime Surveillance Advisor in the Cook Islands from February 2020 to January 2023, leading the Cook Islands Police Service Maritime Security Capability, contributing to maritime security of the neighbouring regions. Lieutenant Commander Takani oversaw a programme to replace ageing patrol boats with more modern boats donated by the Australian Government, which were operated to provide maritime security to the 15 islands and ocean territory of the Cook Islands. He led the significant project to upgrade the Cook Islands Police Service Maritime Surveillance Centre to ensure there was a fit-for-purpose support facility. These multi-million dollar projects are the largest ever completed in the Cook Islands under the Australian Defence Cooperation Programme with New Zealand support. He also provided support to the New Zealand and Australian High Commissions in several Cook Islands ministries and agencies, acting as escort for high-profile state visits and as a master of ceremonies for New Zealand recognised public events. Within the wider Cook Islands community, he took on several voluntary tasks and functions. Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Commander Tukani assisted the Cook Islands Airport Authority emergency exercise to revalidate their opening and operating licence, contributing to emergency management planning meetings, served on the committees of the Cook Islands Aotearoa Society and Cook Islands RSA, and coached local rugby. Lieutenant Commander Mark Tukani, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system 
is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of fellow New Zealanders. Martin Luther King spoke about the importance of such service when he said, not everyone can be famous, but everyone can be great, because greatness is determined by service. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the King of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you once again for your service to our country. Now you will see on the back of your programme the words to the national anthem in Te Reo Māori and English. I now invite you to stand with me and join in singing the national anthem. Yeah. 